Hi guys, first I would like to thank all who have subscribed to my channel. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. This will make a significant contribution to my channel. With new subscribers, my channel will rise and develop also in the future. With your subscription, you don't have any obligations toward my channel or me whatsoever. So, Many of you ask me if there is any chance to retake all those videos they were shot in Slovene language. Yes, I'm presenting you one of those videos today. We are going to see how to do lock-on stabilization effect in Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve 17. No time to waste, let's dive into today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do lock-on stabilization effect in Fusion. Perhaps you have already heard for this effect known as stabilization tracking effect. Let's drag and drop video on timeline, don't forget to highlight the clip and let's jump into Fusion. In Fusion we have already those two nodes media in and media out. Click on media in, press shift plus spacebar and type in planner tracker. You can see that node has jumped into position automatically. On your right hand side you can see Planet Tracker Tools menu and all those tools that they are available. First we are going to pick up Video Playhead and we are gonna pinpoint the start and the end where this effect should be. So let's put the Playhead to beginning of the clip, go to Inspector and press the button set in operation mode. Further on, go to Pattern and change Tracker from Point to Hybrid Point slash Area. In Motion Type, you choose Translation as an output. Now you can see on your playback screen that small black cross has appeared instead of your usual mouse arrow. Use it and make a small rectangle on Girl's Cap logo. If you cannot see it well, just press Ctrl and use scroll wheel on your mouse. Let's go back to tool section and click, click this track to end button. In case that your playhead is on other position than start, you can use track to start button here. So let's track the clip. And as you can see, this operation took us only a few seconds. FYI, this is recorded in real time. When finished, open operation mode and change it to stabilize. This is done in a blink of an eye, so we can check it out immediately. As you can see, the clip is stabilized. However, now the clip is jumping all over the place. That's why we need to manually correct the position of the clip to fill the gaps in the missing background. So let's click keyboard button combination shift plus spacebar and type in transform. Or you can simply use this transform icon on shortcut ribbon above. After transform node has been connected, let's find the position where the image is off-center at most and start correcting position with available transform tools in Inspector. One more thing, don't worry much about top and bottom section because we are going to use black bars to hide all those irregularities that uh, are visible now. Let's manually change the center positioning on X-axis first and on y-axis as well. Due to a reason that we need to fill the gaps, we need to zoom in this part of the clip. Unfortunately, we're gonna lose wider view on the, of the clip 
And sadly, this is the price that we have to pay for having this kind of effect. We need a few more corrections. Let's play it through. As I have already mentioned, the top and bottom are not so critical. However, let left and right side of the screen must be filled at all times. Let's zoom a bit, change the center. We still have enormous gap on the right hand side, so we need to zoom in a bit more. And let's see what we have done until now. Looks good. So we have finished Infusion and let's go back to Edit page. Computer have to cache the video. In the meantime, we can open Effect Library, open Toolbox, go to Effects and drag and drop adjustment clip on the top of the video clip on our timeline. Go to Inspector, open Cropping tag, go to Crop Top. Type in 100, go to Crop Bottom, type in 100, unless you have some other required preferences. Let's play it through. This is final look of lock-on stabilization effect. Definitely you may do some other changes to the clip like fade in or fade out or you can use some other FX effects that are compatible with this clip and lock on stabilization effect. This is all for today. If you have any questions about this effect let me know down in comments. Nice, don't you think? Lock on stabilization effect have a great potential and it can be used in different ways. What do you think? Leave your comments below. If you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to share. If you like to see more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for joining me today. Till next time, have a good one. I want you all the time.